Which oath of ethics taken by doctors is named after an ancient Greek physician? Pass. What is the largest desert in the world? Sahara. Who wrote the memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? Pass. In the international radio alphabet, which word represents the letter H? Pass on that one. What is the name of the Spanish soup that is served cold? Paella. One. Which oath of ethics taken by doctors is named after an ancient Greek physician? Double pass. Uh, what? Who, rather, who wrote the memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? No, pass. In the international radio alphabet, which word represents the letter H? Time. Oh, oh. okay. Boy, just because you're a retiree, you think you got all, all the time in the world now, huh? Get some, get some hustle, <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Bruce. We'll see how this goes once we bring Kelly in. We're going to put you on hold, and I'm going to wave Kelly back into the room for the second half. Kelly strides back in confidently, rubs her hands together to say, All right, world, time to pay. That's right. I might have also had some schmear on my palms. Oh, man. Pap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My favorite kind. All right, Kelly. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Freebeer's not. He's <laughs> busy totally changing ready. the He's channel because he needs to have that happen right this second. I was ready. All right. Your time begins in three, two, one. Which oath of ethics taken by doctors is named after an ancient Greek physician? Pass. What is the largest desert in the world? Sahara. Who wrote the memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? Pass. In the international radio alphabet, which word represents the letter H? Pass. What is the span? Uh, what is the name of the Spanish soup that is served cold? Oh, um, oh God! I know all of these, and I can't think of any of them. Um, oh God! Double pass. I'm not gonna get that one. Which oath of ethics taken by doctors is named after an ancient Greek physician? Uh, double pass. I don't know that either. Who wrote the memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? MLK Jr. All right. In the international radio alphabet, which word represents the letter H? Which word represents the letter H? Yes. Uh, signal. <laughs> Time. Hmm. Interesting choice on that one. I have no idea. <laughs> like, what are those questions? I have no idea. Oftentimes, I th I think. I mean, I don't I don't know the official. Okay. But usually, the word starts with the letter. <laughs> like, Alpha starts with an A. Bravo starts with a B. Charlie. Charlie starts with a Delta. C. Delta. We'll get to that. We'll get to sure. that. It might but be. Signal it might, might be, right. be signal. Is the H silent on signal? I uh -huh. don't know. Letter H. <laughs> All right. Now we have a real battle ahead of us here. A real knowledge battle has happened between Bruce and Kelly. So let us score this barn burner. Which oath of ethics taken by doctors is named after an ancient Greek physician? Bruce said pass after taking a long time, then came back, took a lot more time, and then eventually passed again. Kelly double passed as well. 
The answer is the Hippocratic Oath. Yeah. <laughs> Never gotten that. Hippa. Hippa laws. Uh-huh. Hippocratic. Uh, question number two. What is the largest desert in the world? Bruce said Sahara. Kelly said Sahara. A big desert for sure, but the biggest desert is Antarctica. Oh, that's right. Oh, man. Man. God, we just heard oh. that, too, like a few months ago, and I thought to myself, oh, yeah. Never forget that one. Never forget that now that I know it. Tied at zero as we go to question number three, which I thought Kelly would have a very, very good chance of getting because she is such a prolific reader. Could not think of this. Who wrote the memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? Bruce passed. It came back around. He passed once again. Kelly also passed. It came back around, and she said Martin Luther (laughs) King Jr. Pretty sure it's a female author. It is. Yeah. And that author is Maya Angelou. That's it. That's it. (laughs) Tied at zero. Question number four. In the international radio alphabet, which word represents the letter H? Bruce passed. You know what? Let's come back to this one. Let's go to question five. What is the name of the Spanish soup which is served cold? Now, Bruce said paella. No, that's not right. It's not right. But also, neither is double pass. I know. The answer is gazpacho. I kept thinking garbanzo. And I was like, don't say it. You'll sound stupid. Tied at zero. (laughs) And then I answered this one we're going to come back to. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Now, in the international radio alphabet, which word represents the letter H? Now, one of the worst answers in the world that I've ever heard is a word that starts with the letter S. (laughs) Signal. You guys make it sound like there are things like, you know, on other scales and that have letters that don't have... Like, what is it? The <laughs> what sentence is the coming out? The scientific scale that I'm trying to think of right now that I can't think mm-hmm. of. That I one. I don't know. What's the symbol for gold? AU. Okay. Does that start with a G? This no. is it. Yeah, but yeah, but this the is the international radio <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> this different. is the whole point of that alphabet <laughs> is to make sure that people don't miss here. I don't know. I You're, don't know the radio alphabet. I can tell you, you who do. is. The Greek alphabet I can, also. I can tell you who is greatly disappointed right now is General Cheese. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Well, because this is the international language that everybody in the military uses. Right. So Alpha, Bravo, mm-hmm. Charlie, Delta, Echo. Yeah. Uh, what we were looking for. Oh, uh, I'll tell you this. Um, Bruce answered with pass and then... <laughs> finished his answer with Steve saying time. Mm. So he had no answer, which means we're tied at zero. <laughs> but I didn't get time, which means I won. But no. Ca- <laughs> no. You don't win with zero. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, this happened with you before, yeah. didn't it? Lindy? Yeah, it just, it's like it never happened. Oh. Well, you still get a loss. How do you no, you don't get a loss. You, get a win? <laughs> you didn't win, so it's you didn't just get nothing. a win either. It's, yeah, no, I know that. Getting zero means a loss. I don't care how you get it. That's this got to be a loss. This is basically <laughs> like a canceled baseball game. <laughs> I don't know if this is more about the students or the teacher asking the question on this one. I would have got two. I would have had I were three. Playing. You yeah. had three. Yeah, I this isn't three. about. Yeah, these are. I think yeah. these are good questions. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I want Kelly Bruce to tell us would... more about the radio alphabet, though. Yeah. I want to no hear, thanks. Steve, you got to play <laughs> no that thanks. sentence again mm-hmm. when Kelly was giving us the, what about the, where the, where the, the you're telling the, me that sometimes it's represented by something that's not where they begin with. The, 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 you guys you know, were literally like, what abbreviations happen? Like, you know, A for alpha <laughs> and B for beta. And I'm sitting there thinking, isn't there a whole damn scale for scientists that like half of them are symbols that don't well, or those letters are, those that don't are match? Those are chemical symbols right, that again. are often based in Latin. Yeah. Again, uh, that perfect have example nothing to do with of what right. you're asking me. And right. also, they're completely different. They're, they're, they're two different things. <laughs> they're two entirely different things. Also, what was, Kelly, uh, what who is the says, H? I think this might be the teacher asking bad questions. <laughs> After, out of her mouth, she said, oh, no. I know I know the answers to yeah. all of these. No, I knew I should have known my Angelo. Couldn't think of it. And then I kept thinking Garbanzo. For the means, those are the only two that I really would have gotten had I thought. Listeners are telling us that um, the historical precedent is that getting zero counts as a loss. 
How does it count as a loss if it doesn't also count as a win for the listener? That's how we've done it in the past. The you must have been on board in the past All when right. it happened. Yeah. yeah mark up give yourself a mark. Sounds good to me. And circle it till we know it was right. really bad. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> what was H? Hotel? <laughs> Hotel. All right, Bruce. Oh, I thought it was Halo. You'll never forget that you Hotel. didn't lose nor win, so you lost. You lost more. That was, you a, did real, it. Like you said, that was a real bond burner. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs>